Okay, the way that it dropped the ammo, the thing I killed dropped ammo onto me like that was really funny. He said, oh, here you go. I'm not gonna need it anymore. I just got blown the fuck up. How's it going, guys? My name's Graham, and this is Wrath, Aeon of Ruin, a new retro-style FPS game that I believe is actually made in the original Quake engine, which is pretty damn cool. That's, like, quite the throwback. That's very neat. I am playing it as someone who is unhindered by having grown up playing games like Doom and Quake. Didn't have a good enough PC for it as a kid, so I get to, I get to live that experience for the first time now instead as a grown adult. Break, break, doesn't matter, doesn't matter how you say it. <laughs> but I, I think that's kind of an important distinction to make though, because some people maybe are gonna have really strong ties and, and really particular things that they look for in a game like this. And that's just not how I'm gonna be approaching the game. I'm very much just gonna be seeing how it, it plays as is. And for that reason, I, I, I think it might appeal to, to different crowds depending on like what you're familiar with. I think this looks like maybe it's a little bit more advanced than like those original games were. But having not played them, I like I would be impressed if they looked and played this smoothly, actually. Alright. Run and jump. No. <laughs> Wasn't a thing. Okay, I gotta charge up my blade. Oh, okay. That felt really good. I did really like the the dashiness of that. Soul tether. Cool. It's not that exciting of a thing. Save! Oh wait, is that gone? Mm, I'm real glad. I'm real glad I tied my soul to the first six seconds of the game. Okay, this landscape actually looks so damn cool. The pixely, like, low frame rate fire is really doing it for me. Like, your hand is clearly detailed, but they, they've done it in a way where it still looks like chunky and pixely and stuff. I'm pretty stoked to go stab some baddies, though. Morning Veil, uh, no secrets, no relics. I've been playing for ages. I have the Ruination Blade, Bestiary Manual, all that good stuff. Oh, am I just in, like, an overworld right now, essentially? Like... Fangs? That seems like it could be useful, right? I have no idea what use that has. It looked like I was just gonna step on spikes. I was scared they were gonna hurt me. Oh, the fangs might be ammunition for some sort of tooth shooting gun, and I want it. A rootin' tootin' tooth shooting gun is what I'm looking for. Alright, send me into space. I can handle it. The Undercrofts. Which means that there's legit secrets and relics in Morning Vale. I maybe shouldn't have left there just yet. Uh, <laughs> all right, lesson learned that I maybe, maybe should have spent more time there. It's fine. I, th I tethered my soul to it. I'm sure, uh, if anything, when, oh god, oh god, okay, that spooked me a little bit. Fuck yeah. Oh, he's not even dead yet, though. Uh, okay, that's incredible. I want to blast straight through these guys. Ooh, that's just violent enough. Okay, there's gonna be some massive temptations to to go in like a major exploration mode. An armor shard. I wanna I wanna like dig up secrets and things. Now I'm all giddy at the prospect. I kind of want to go back to that overworld area to try it out first, but I'll, I'll I'll dick around in here first since there's clearly like enemies to be killed and things like that. So I'll take things uh, a little bit methodically. It's funny to be methodical when you're ripping through things at these sorts of speeds. Doesn't really seem like I really uh, am, am taking my time at all. I'm just gonna line you two up, stab through both at once. Oh, okay. You can like chop off pieces of these guys and stuff without fully killing them. Like the one that I blasted through, I think I just knocked his arm off. Started to feel a little bit like clone drone in that regard, like dis dismembering your enemies. That's very satisfying. Oh, that looks like a secret for sure. Or at the very least, like something. Something that I want to access. There's 379 enemies down here. 13 secrets. I think this game might be massive. <laughs> First weapon. First gun, I should say. Okay, yeah, I was anticipating that. Uh, I don't want to be stuck there while I, like, familiarize myself with some of this. Oh, it's right in his head. All right, headshot. Nothing but headshots. Make Jeremy from FPS... Proud. That was that called ponage, uber ponage, total ponage, old school. Oh, I didn't, I didn't mean to shoot. I'm seeing what my alternate shot is. That one looks like a much bigger bang. That's like a regular, regular shot. 
Big Bang. It uses like three ammo. Yeah, so you're unloading like the full the full weapon at once when you do that. Oh, that's a bloody good mess that we've made. That's satisfying as all hell. Pure Ponage. Pure Ponage is the one I'm thinking of. Oh god, this guy has a gun arm. All right, must run circles and try to chop heads off. Oh, this guy's got one too. Yep. That was terrible. There, I'm not a good dasher. I'm not good at doing the dashing. Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, that was that was clearly not gonna go well. I got overwhelmed the second the second that there was difficult enemies, things that weren't slow moving and had no meaningful way to defend themselves. I'm hopping back into the Thanos space stone, whichever stone that was, portal. Cause now. I want to bash around here a little bit. Showed off some of the, like, the actual enemies and that sort of gameplay. Now I just kind of want to see what kind of shit is hiding in this overworld. Maybe busting up literally every gravestone is not the right first step. It's just disrespectful is, is all that it is. It's... It, it shouldn't really get me any further in anything. I shouldn't be rewarded for that. Just dumping all over these poor souls who tried to give it their all. Crawling down. Follow the shrooms, the low pixel shrooms, to the secret gardens. Nope, it's the it's the same area. I can see I can see perfectly well where I came from. This is nothing new, really. Now I feel like all of a sudden I'm playing Mario 64 or something, like exploring the world, looking for how to access the stars, things like that. <laughs> Not the vibe I'm supposed to be getting, I'm certain, but the exploration is. Pretty damn cool. This world feels kind of wholly unique. Like you can see and feel influences. The soundscape that's going on here is pretty damn cool. But I still kind of feel like I'm I'm getting something new out of this. Just go for a cool purple shower, and I'm stuck. <laughs> Guess I just try and attempt to swim my way out. Good exercise though. Someday, I'm sure, coming back there will be more worthwhile. That looks like a bridge that I could potentially extend. Oh, no, no, no. It's just a, like a drainage system. Is this music only playing near that waterfall? Oh, it's kind of it's playing all over, I guess. Big red sack. That's what I'm... That's the thing I'm currently interested in. Gotta go inspect this. It just looks like another portal. Mmm, but it's locked. So I don't have what it takes. Alright, I'm charging a jump for this though. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, full. Full armor. Secret discovered. Full armor. <laughs> Sometimes you move a little too fast in this game and I actually chucked myself straight off there. But luckily, luckily it wasn't before finding the actual secret. So does that... Where would that show up? Do I have like an inventory? It might just be a thing that is present. I just like have armor now. Oh yeah, so there's the 80, 80 armor to go along with the 85, but what if I die anywhere? Like, I guess maybe I should be soul tethering after finding secrets, so that when I respawn, that stuff's just already, already discovered. That's all I can really think to do about it. How are things so, like, chunky, blocky, pixelated, and still feel so incredibly detailed? Like, I kind of love the feel of the world. These destroyed trees everywhere, there's all these weird sky beams. Uh, more portals that I can't actually access just yet. Oh, don't fall, don't fall. I want to go see what's up with this cave. I want to go see what's up with that stuff all the way over there. And I'm just in like an overworld section. But there, there's a mini cave next to the other cave. I want to go to this cave now. I just want to see it all. I want to experience everything. Mmm, holding shift slows you down for those times where the running is maybe a little too excessive. <laughs> Armor shard and health found and some busted up little things. Progress saved. Sick. Oh, and the armor shard just adds to your armor. So it's like you don't you're not saving it up to build armor with or whatever. Okay, that's dope. Now I have I have like a legit save state going on. I see some ammo there, but I don't really care. That giant tree has its own portal. That's clearly somewhere I can head in the future. This is different. I went near this little, like, Gruntilda's treehouse. Reminds me of Banjo-Kazooie or whatever, but now I got the mire. I've been playing for, like, ten minutes. A little bit more, maybe, but, like, I'm already in another new area again. The exploration of this is so damn fun. Do I get to hop around in, like, treetops? Aw, oh, yeah. I like the looks of this. It's also very open. Alright, can I jump up? Can I jump dash 
upwards. A little bit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you can super jump. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Armor. <laughs> Armor. And now you gotta get at this kind of slowly here, except a little bit. Well, maybe slow is not, not really the, the, like, Quake or Doom style, so I should probably go in prepared to do a little bit extra damage. But, uh, I'm, I'm still learning. I'm learning how to effectively decapitate <laughs> enemies in one stroke. Soccer ball in his head around. <laughs> There's no reason for physics on the head to be a thing, but I'm so glad that it is because that is incredibly satisfying in a way I wasn't expecting. I can't seem to raise my armor over, or sorry, health over 100, so I can't really do anything with that. Armor is like right there waiting for me. What's up? You feeling a little left out? I'm sorry about that. I can definitely uh, bring you into the, the club. Sorry, sorry that I left you behind like that before. I do have one save point thing. Uh, it might be nice to have one more, so I'm gonna try this again. Uh, it helps you a little bit, I swear, but I can't... That was too much. Hundreds of enemies, 15 secrets, and one relic. I would love to find, like, a singular relic, you know? That would be a, a nice goal to aim for. Hell yeah, that feels good. I, I should check the journal to, to take a look at this new gun, actually. Oh wait, you don't read anything. No point in learning about a thing. You just have it. You didn't have it before. Now you got yourself a nice little picture of it. Good enough. Oh shit. What the hell? I didn't even see where you came from. Sneaky. Oh god, okay, there's that guy's got a gun too. I'm just gonna run, <laughs> run and gun that shit. Alright, I gotta be I gotta be a little bit more action oriented here. Maybe a little more mindful of my surroundings while I'm at it. Do you know what? I dig, I dig really hard that these guns don't have reloads. Uh, that might be true of like every gun in the game. And I think that probably is like a classic Doom thing. That it's just like, why why would we slow down the gameplay by having you mess around with shit like that? Just get in there and shoot the dude's head off. I feel like I shot his head off and then a weird extra set of arms was like crawling out of him. I don't really know what was going on there. It was neat, it was weird, it was neat. That counts as a secret. So just just reaching those little uh, slightly more difficult to access areas is is a thing. I have three of these at this point, so I'm going to stick a soul tether down. There we go. Now I now I, at least I know I can return to that. I wonder if I only get to return to it once. That's something I hadn't considered actually. That might be a thing. Okay, walking in shit. Walking into a new area, I should probably survey a little bit more and realize. There's probably going to be shit lurking around the corners, waiting to rain shots down on me. And rain bits and pieces of their corpses down on me once I blast them to bits. After I've taken care of that. Yeah, there was a really good chance that those graves were going to hatch new baddies. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh god, okay, okay, wait, wait, I don't like the sound like this. Backing it up, backing it up. You guys, you guys want to just line yourselves up for me? I'll just take some nice cheap shots from back here. Those fucking shotguns from a mile away. It doesn't matter that their shots seem to have spread. They were like all still hitting me. Alright, I'm running in. I'm running in pretty aggressively here. I can't even- they're so goddamn far away. Oh, okay, strafe. Better strafing. Must shoot and strafe. Never gonna kill anything if I try and run straight at them. I mean, I'm, I'm probably more likely to kill them. I'll be a straighter shooter, but they're gonna wreck me if I do that as well. Goddamn could I ever not play this game with a mouse. My, my confidence in other- oh, what shit. Oh, no, not good. Ba ba ba. Duh. Wake it up. More enemies. My confidence in- first person shooters is so weak as is that I could not possibly handle the the added personal difficulty of working with the controller. I grew up PC gaming even though I had a pretty shitty PC so I kind of missed out on the doom the doom days but when I eventually did get that shit set up and played like I don't know like unreal tournament and things like that it was all mouse and keyboards so that's the only way I'm getting through any of this. This, like, lighthouse thing looks cool. I want to get to the lighthouse. I also feel like, can I shoot that bridge down or something? Maybe that's not a thing. That really looks like it would be. Uh, there might be a lever or something that serves that role then, if it's a thing at all. Oh, you can see how once you get up top there, you kind of, like, stay up top. There's bridges between all the different upper trees and everything like that. That seems sketchy. And, like, the sort of shit that would definitely get me killed. 
Jump. Super jump. <laughs> Terrible. I thought I heard the sound of enemies waking up. Oh, yeah, yeah. There he is. Suck on that. Oh, God, we got another new type of enemy now, too. Yeah, I presume when things glow green that they are in some way diseased and chuck disease balls and things. Cysts! That is something I can pick up? It's gotta be another enemy type again, right? Or, uh, weapon type. Weapon type, I should say. That shoots those. I basically have to move on because I can't figure out how to access that. Cruel Aegis. Aegis? That's a secret. It's not a relic. So what does that count as? I kind of want to read up. We have the Fallen, the Wraiths, not the Wrath, the Wraiths, the Afflicted, and the Invader. Oh, man, they're, like, ripping apart heads. There's, like, the whatever... Is, is, are these things a part? Are like the face hugger things a part of these guys with the gun arms? Oh no, these, the wraith, the wraith are the flying ones. But it makes it look like they're connected in some way there. I might be misunderstanding. I do not know what the Aegis is that I found, but it was a secret. I'm a great secret hunter. Cruel Aegis, I, I have another one. Does that count? That one didn't count as a secret. That's just a regular ass thing. I have no concept of what is going on, but I'm feeling fired up and ready to explore further. Come on, come on. There, there's totally like breakable wood in the game. There's gotta be a way to knock that shit down. What was the deal with the way this lowered? Oh, I have no idea what that is. That's gotta be a relic. But now I, now I have to try and find a way down into like the sewers. Whatever it is that we're gonna call that. But I my my motivations have suddenly changed from wanting to go deeper down or up, deeper up, and wanting to suddenly go deeper down. You guys gonna rise up out of these graves sometime soon, I'm guessing. Dark armor shard. Oh, so now I have dark armor and regular armor. And that counted as a secret. I'm gonna step in for a save. I want to like kill things in the area first. There ended up not being anything. Not a real concern. Even just these frogs croaking around me has a bit of a vibe to it. They're spooking me out a little bit. I haven't gone for much of a swim. I don't know if there are water-based enemies. I, it doesn't seem like I have to worry about uh, breath. Oh, no, 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 you do, you do. There just didn't seem to be uh, any like tracker letting me know that I was, I was running out. A life siphon? Come on, that's not a relic or I don't know what any of this shit is. Oh! Oh, I'm a fool, of course. It's gonna be things like this. Exchange lifeblood for invincibility and receive lifeblood from the slain. Uh, I don't want to use any of these right now. I, I didn't mean to equip one. I guess I'll just avoid using it then. So, like, I could probably use that on those corpses and I, I would I would heal up through it. There's, oh, there's clearly something on the other side of this. It's hard to line up just right. Is shooting it not the answer? Because it kind of seemed like the only uh, available option I have to a given puzzle <laughs> type situation would be shooting. I gotta conserve ammo a little bit more. I did not realize how badly I was starting to, to burn through it. And yes, I see, I see that. Now I gotta go hunting for whatever that little secret is. It looks like another siphon. Look at those twisty, horned looking roots. Those look very devilish. Ooh, tower entrance. My guess is that there's gonna be some bad guys in here as soon as I uh, enter this. Damn it, that sucked. Uh, at least there's like the shotgun down here because I've been finding shells everywhere. I'm quite ammo limited at the moment on my on my regular coach gun. So that'll be good to have. Load me up. Whoa, it's like plasma or something. What the shit? Okay, I'm glad I wasn't standing right there while that happened. Shotgun. It, do it doesn't get a cool name. It's not a boom stick or anything like that. I think I kind of maybe need to make use of this. Oh, I was that was too effective. All right. <laughs> then don't jump, just drop and dash. Damn it, I did it at a poor time there. I think I could have zigzagged my way down a little bit and potentially acquired more resources. Bah, shit. All right, time to put this to the test. I'm curious if that is anything, like if I can interact with that. But going down is kind of what I wanted, because I think this is how I'm going to uh, gain access to that ruin. <laughs> okay, the way that it dropped the ammo, the thing I killed dropped ammo onto me like that was really funny. Oh, here you go. I'm not going to need it anymore. I just got blown the fuck up. 
the sound design of this is pretty cool. Now and again I hear a thing and I, I don't quite know where it's coming from. <laughs> that was very worth it for me. <laughs> Oh shit! Okay, it is it is using two ammo per per time. That was something I felt like I I needed to pay closer attention to. Damn it! I got I gotta be more confident to to shoot while I'm on the move because otherwise you take so much damage that way. I have a helmet that is not an item I can use. Presumably it's just something that um, it automatically equips and adds armor. <laughs> okay, I saw that thing flying around earlier. Didn't expect it to be right there. Didn't know he was there at all. That was a that was a true surprise for me. I don't know where most of y'all are coming from when you when you do that sort of shit. You just come out of the woodwork and I I just adapt. You know? It doesn't take much of a pivot, I suppose. I just kill the things that weren't there before, shoot at them until they return to a state of just not being there. Mm, I should try the alt fire of this shotgun. First I think I see a flying thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to take that out. The shotgun probably one shots that, but I, I didn't think it would be the most effective. Was there one more in there? I was hoping there was like one more of you guys. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, God, I don't know what, I don't know what uh, the alt shotgun does. You charge it up, charge that shit up. All right. <laughs> okay, that's fucking cool. How much ammo does he use? Two, it still only uses two. It's just more of like a timing thing. I think it's kind of uh, difficult to make proper use of. Aw, oh, come on, I tried to charge it up so it was like ready to go as soon as I came around the corner like that. God damn it. That, I think the cyst guy is shooting his buddy there. Come on, I'm, I'm trying to switch weapons. That's what I wanted to do a million seconds before I actually pulled it off. You guys suck. Sick of this shit. I'm not very good at looking up. They keep sneak on, sneaking up on me. They're not even very sneaky. In fact, they're some of the least sneaky. If they, if I walk around a corner, like just come sailing around a corner, that's when they're most likely to spring up on me because I'm the one not paying attention. They, they just kind of float around and do their own business in a pretty conspicuous way, I would say. They're groaning, they're shooting weapons everywhere. I'm gonna try and use this life siphon. Oh, uh, that just did not work how I thought it would. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, uh, do I have to fight something? All right, all right, I better get on the move and kill things then. But, trying to life siphon, good, 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 good. That did heal me. Back at 100 health, I'll take it. Fuck that little tunnel. All right, I'm using it as an escape for a second and then coming back. Satisfying, just so satisfying. <laughs> this uh, area is massive. And I'll be shocked if I'm able to find my way to that relic thing that I'm like specifically looking for. Seems like it's gonna be a bit of a struggle. Luckily there's like health and stuff like all over the place. Oh, I got so many shotgun shells. I'm prepared! Whoa, okay. We got like new enemies dropping into place then once you just after like clearing that little area there. I'm dropping in on him. I did not do a, a 180 as effectively and coolly as I was attempting to do. Oh man, holy shit. Oh god, no. Oh, it's like, it's like a, six different faces of the Violator from Spawn or something. Jesus Christ. Uh, I just realized that those guys who were shooting at me have like open torsos. That that shit just like flaps around. The heretic. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of the heretic. I was from like a design perspective. He looked fucking hardcore and super cool. From the fact that he uh, looks terrifying and I assume it, that thing is going to be the death of me. From that perspective, I'm, I'm much less of a fan. <laughs> okay, the shotgun is my jam. Oh, this is also new. Fuck. Okay, okay, okay. That guy's... Oh, it bounces around. I wasn't ready for that. Come on, man. You gotta warn me that you got bouncy things like that. Makes it a lot more difficult for me. I'm not expecting it. Next thing, I just step right into it. There goes all my armor. Fuck. That was a panic click. <laughs> <laughs> kind of startled me a bit. Uh, luckily, I can feel all powerful. Holy shit, I didn't realize that was anything different either when he literally jumped like uh, quickly like that. Yeah, the stricken is the big corruption poison thing. The widow is that little fast thing, I think. Fuck, I don't like those, actually. It didn't make a ton of sound or anything, but it definitely startled me. Okay, that's just like other 
little side areas to explore. Now I'm starting to realize how much I'm kind of just running in circles here. Shit. I thought out this way would be back onto like the main path. Yeah, that looks promising. Okay, I think this is where I want to be. There's a lot going on. I don't even know if I found, I don't even think I found like any secrets in quite a damn while. I'm still in the damn forest world. That like hardly even registered for me. Like whatever this crazy sewer dungeon is, is still a part of all that. No wonder there's so many friggin' secrets. Is that like, I'm just exploring one tiny little corner of all, all of this right now. Okay, suddenly I'm in a new area. It's just kind of randomly, semi-randomly, I should say, taking corners and things of areas that I was fairly certain I hadn't been, but I couldn't quite keep track. Get out of here, you. I know there's one more in there. They like hiding out in corners. They know I hate that. So that's where they immediately go sticking their big dumb butts. Okay, that links up. That links up with an area I have been. This is the new, the new shit that I want to go see. What a jerk. What a straight up loser. Oh, nice. Soul tether. Don't want to miss out on that. Speaking of, I have quite a lot of those. I think it's probably a good time to drop one of those. Yep. Can't trick me hiding around corners. This is gonna be a fang shooter, isn't it? A fang spitter. Ha oh. ha. Okay, I assumed when I had 300 ammo that that meant it was gonna shoot a lot. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh god, it's a big thing, big thing, big thing. Fangs, 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 fangs. Okay, for a second I was scared that it wasn't actually hurting it, but I could see that it was getting bloodied. Not a lot of damage. Super satisfying to shoot like a thousand of. So that's good stuff. Is that? Ah, uh, helmet, helmet. Look like a little something. Doesn't count as a secret, though. Oh, full-on armor in that, too. Oh, what the fuck? That! <laughs> but now can I go into there? No, no, it ends right there. The game has done that to me a few times now, where, uh, you specifically are, like, coaxed into going to an area. Oh, damn. This is gonna be fun! Because there's, like, something set up there, and as soon as you walk through it, it, like, opens something up where, where some bad guys can pop out at you. That was satisfying as all hell, but I gotta scope this out first. It's, like, the first time since, like, the opening tutorial area. Fuck. Jesus. <laughs> hey, that's maybe the most startled I've been in the game yet. First time since the tutorial area that there was something to break through like that. Oh, shit. I thought, uh, what you could do with this would be very... Apparent? Oh, what is the alt fire of the the spitter? Okay, shotgun style shoots two at a time has some heavy impact feels incredible I seem to be unable to activate this damn I wonder what I'm missing all right down the hallway of a million dead corpses Yeah, okay. I'm guessing there's one coming from both sides. Oh, I was just the one side I happen to like look the right direction essentially standing still is a mistake trying to kill massive monster okay okay some dodgeable shit kind of get used to the feel of that guy's like rhythm of attack and it's a little bit easier to deal with I should have been doing the shotgun blasting with with this thing though because I haven't really used it against anything yet I want to see and feel that in action I'm gonna mangle some things arm her beaker of lifeblood Oh god, I did not know these things flew. Fuck that. They're horrifying. I don't like them at all. They're the worst. They're the worst. Die, die. I, I... Okay, the fang shooter might not be the best weapon to use against those guys. Maybe I should have taken it as a hint since they dropped fangs. They got fang immunity. I gotta start thinking through a little bit. It's like Pokemon, but guns. <laughs> Pistols are weak to shotguns. Shotguns are weak to fangs. Fangs are weak to any other thing. Oh, I didn't realize I was that injured. I really was just kind of standing and it wasn't I. Shit. Return to shrine? Yeah, yeah, I don't, return to soul tether. I have, I have that option as well. Okay, so I, because I specifically had activated shrines and soul tethers, I had multiple options then. And the, the soul, the soul tether remains. So I haven't, I haven't even like lost that yet, which seems like a good thing takes me back to here. I honestly think I'm probably gonna set things down. 
it was fun to mess around with. I, I enjoyed it more than I thought. It's actually kind of amazing. Makes me wonder what my life would have been if I had been exposed to games like Quake and Doom at an earlier age. Perhaps I would be more uh, of an FPS player. There's not many of them that I really play, as you can tell by the fact that I just called them FPSs. Barely got the word out. I'm sure if you listen back to it, it was uh, approximately that atrocious. I assume, yeah, it, it doesn't just need... Okay, that... Oh. Now I know where you came from. I thought he snuck out through here. He's, he's literally hiding in the corner there. I do dig it. I think it's a cool game. Uh, I only really wanted to just kind of show things off a little bit though. A little bit of the gameplay, the action, the feel, the style, the speed. Uh, from a perspective of someone who, who didn't grow up with this sort of thing, I thought that would be interesting. And and then anyone else who was like interested in it for themselves, uh, who maybe is more familiar with those other properties, then they could judge it accordingly. So yeah, I hope that I was able to kind of fill that role as I intended. <laughs> I, I'm just kind of getting an up close and personal look at that thing. I'm, I'm less concerned about actually staying alive right now. I just was kind of trying to get a better look. I can go back to the soul tether, the shrine, which is good. It doesn't seem to be punishing in that regard. It wasn't that hard to find tethers. I continually can lay them up and respawn directly to them. So it's very uh, forgiving in that regard. Oh, look at that swarming in. Ah. <laughs> That's kind of amazing. It's kind of cool. I, I, I dig it. It's an early access and they do have a roadmap planned out of new areas that they're adding. Maybe those are the red portals, actually. That might not be unlockable content. It might be areas that are still being worked on and still being added. But at the end of that roadmap is a legit multiplayer mode where you can, like, play online. And I think that that is going to be pretty damn incredible. I think that'll be tons of fun. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.